Welcome to the R video tutorial on mathematical operations part two. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so this is a carry on from part one where we talked about basic mathematical operations on vectors and matrices, but they were element wise or just multiplying a constant to them. Now what we want to do is talk about operations that you can do with the vectors and matrices that are more linear algebra oriented. So for consistency, I'm going to keep using the same vectors and matrices that I had in part one. Uh, there's a link to this in a card up at the top that you can click on if you need to go back and watch that video again. All right, so let's get going here. So I'm going to compile the vectors and the matrices just like I did last time. So they'll be in my environment and I can start using them. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is look at how to do basic vector or matrix multiplication. So in R, the matrix multiplication is percent star percent. So I'm going to put this little space around this and do B1 against A1. And if I run this, this produces the standard matrix multiplication, which will produce a scalar. And if you've taken linear algebra, you know how this is created. So this is essentially the dot product uh, that you would be interested in. And if you go through and calculate it, you would just do, you know, one times two plus three times one plus four times three plus two times five plus five times four. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, uh, this is the basic matrix multiplication that you would use. So we're going to put a little comment on here, matrix multiplication. And R knows how to do this. Now, for our matrices uh, M1 and M2, we can do M1 percent star percent M2. Now, the good thing about this is that it knows how to multiply matrices together uh, very well, and it becomes very easy. However, it's not smart enough to know when you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so remember, if you're going to do matrix multiplication, your matrices need to be conformable. So often you'll get some argument that the matrices are not conformable and that you'll have to adjust for it. All right, so in this case, they are conformable because they're both square matrices. And if I do this, you can see it produces the matrix multiplication for the two matrices, M1 and M2. So that's pretty easy to get to as well. And matrix multiplication is quite popular. It's easy to do, so don't forget percent star percent. The other uh, item you might want to do is transpose a matrix. And this is pretty easy as well. So what I'm going to do is, is just put this in here. So if I do transpose of M1, so first let's do M1 and then we can do M2. So we can see what the transpose does to it. And if you're familiar with matrix multiplication, you know, will know what to expect. So notice that uh, we had one, two, three, four. And now when you transpose, it becomes one, two, three, four. So instead of going down, it goes across. This is standard transpose of a matrix. And you can use this in lots of cases where you need to transpose things, which is quite often. The other thing that you may want to do is a matrix inverse. Okay, uh, the matrix inverse actually is done by actually solving a system of linear equations, but that's why the notation will seem a little odd. So we'll do solve in here. This would be M1, and it will produce, if it's able, the inverse of the matrix. And remember, an inverse of a matrix, you can always check it by taking and multiplying it by the original, because inverting a matrix is essentially a division kind of idea uh, in some sense. So M1 percent star percent solve M1 and you should get the identity matrix back. And sure enough, we get a matrix with one on the diagonal and zero on the off diagonals, which is an identity matrix. So these are some basic uh, things that you can do in R for matrix multiplication, transposing, and finding the inverse, which for most people will deal with most of the 
matrix multiplication that or matrix operations that they need. There are other operations in here, but we're not going to talk about them here because this is enough to get most people going in the right direction. All right, so have a great day and move on to the next video.